Hello, and welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video, and that is the new suit, the uh, Zero Shiki. And uh, give a little bit of thoughts about it, and uh, I don't know about this suit. Uh, I mean, the only question I have for it is what makes it a three star exactly? Nothing about it, I mean, its skills are really good. I, that's the only thing I think of about it is that its skills. Make it a three star. It's got a double tackle, which can be useful. But um, I don't know what else. Nothing about the suit really screams a three star to me. Uh, to me, everything it does, a bunch of suits can do better. Uh, you know, it's got great range damage, but I have a suit, two suits that can do. Uh, good at that already. It has, you know, decent melee damage, but I already have a few suits that can do good melee damage. Uh, I mean, it's got great boost speed, but again, I have suits that can already do that better. Uh, I do like its beam rifle. Its beam rifle can rapid fire. You can, you can shoot up to six times. And, you know, if you're good with your... Uh, with uh, waiting out, you know, for more shots, yeah, you can potentially never run out of, or, you know, never overheat your uh, beam rifle, ever. And, you know, it's really easy for you to charge it up all the way, get a stun, and then you'll still be in the blue after, like, a few seconds. So, it's got a pretty good beam rifle. Uh, it's got the knuckle sealant, which I don't think I use as much as I should have in this match. And, you know, you can combo people with its repeat stun people uh and a lot of people are saying it's like a, a mark 2 which i don't know if they're just joking around but it does not feel like a mark 2 at all uh it, it would do a lot of insane damage just you know with its melee alone to you know be a mark 2 i mean it's a, exactly what it's supposed to be it's a shiki the hayaku shiki but as a general it's Vulcans are also decent. I wish they had a little bit more range. Uh, but it's fine. I don't know why I tried to challenge that good beta. <laughs> uh, so, to me right now, the suit's okay. It's not, you know, it's not terrible. I'll say that. It's not a bad suit because it does have pretty good advantages. Like, it's, uh, it's beam rifle. Which, the beam rifle, I don't know if it's just me, but the... The beam travel distance is like slow. It almost feels like the Gan Eos, uh, its beam rifle. Like that's how slow it kind of feels. It feels hard to hit. Uh, but you know you can stack up a lot of damage if you can learn to aim with it. Uh, I know it has the bazooka, the shrapnel launcher, which uh, I might try that with this. I actually haven't tried it with it. I was just trying to stick with the uh, the beam rifle because that to me seems like the more interesting weapon. Uh, the the launcher is like okay, well I got a launcher. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I think pretty sure it's just like the no. I think it's the shrapnel launcher, not the clay bazooka. Either or, this the beam rifle is a lot more interesting weapon for me to look at. And, uh, yeah, you can get off some decent damage with it. But, yeah, I stacked a lot of resistances on this. Like, I have 46 melee resistance and 30-something uh, beam resistance. And I still feel like I people can run up and uh, take half my health away. Which, I mean, for something like the Mark II, you can definitely do that. Oh, hey, I'm going to get the counter off on this uh, Gabeta. Kick him across the face. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm just not interested in this suit. Uh, cause I, after the, the matches I played with this, I slowly just started gravitating towards the other suits I generally play at 550 to 600. Stuff like the, uh, the Ashimar and all those. Uh, so maybe it's just not my kind of suit. But, you know, I, I can definitely see why somebody would pick this suit because it does, you know, constant damage. Uh, it, it, you know, it gets you what you need, and you can stun lock people with it with you know the knuckle sealant and your melee and your charged beam rifle. 
So there's definitely uh, something for you to 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 pick around with with this suit. Although I don't know what makes it a three star exactly. I, again, I have to say it's probably its uh, its skill set with that it can double tackle and all that. It's got a dodge roll. Nothing else about this suit exactly screams um, screams out three star. Kind of screams more like a two star to me. Uh, I haven't used it in space, but I imagine it's kind of the same in space. You you shoot at people, and you get closer, do your melee, throw out your uh, bird line, follow up with more melee. So yeah, to me, it's a, it's just a, it's an okay. It, it's a suit that's there. That's what I feel like. Uh, of course, you know people they they you know if you like this suit, you do well with it. Yeah, you know it's good. You like that suit? That's awesome. To me, it's just a. Uh, it's not a bad suit. It's a. Uh, <laughs> I, don't know, I feel like I'm repeating myself now. Yeah, I can. I can definitely see why somebody would pick this suit. Uh, it's just not my kind of suit. I have to say, or at least I'm just. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky with it. I just feel like. Uh, it's just not something I would play much. Again, I just gravitated towards other suits eventually after a few matches with this thing. Uh, it just feels kind of boring. Uh, I can't exactly place... Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, top individual, top assist, and I got shot at the most. <laughs> and, uh, hey, second place. That's pretty neat. Uh, it was on Simple Battle, so... Uh, but yeah, that was the, um, oh my god, I can't believe it, the Zero Shiki, which, uh, I don't know, man, three star, I don't know, two star, yeah, I can definitely see this as a two star, it feels like, uh, <laughs> it feels like the Barzam and the, the Haiku Shiki fused together to make, uh, like a shooty general, but at the same time, you can go up and melee somebody with it, uh, but you know, it's supposed to be Rick Diaz and Haiku Shiki. But, uh, yeah, uh, I know this thought, these thoughts weren't super detailed as if they always were, but, um, you probably saw my, um, uh, testing out with the suit and it was actually really short compared to some of the other testing outs. I don't know. The suit just feels like you kind of, you see what you get. There's no like hidden kind of combo you can do with this. Cause uh, it's re you can't really follow up with it too, cause it takes it takes a while for your uh, sword to to ready up again before you can use it again. You know you can get your uh, neutral, and then your downswing. You can boost back and then boost forward again. Then you'll probably get enough time to use your neutral or the first half of your downswing. Um, of course you can use your force injectors to make yourself faster. So maybe you can get another hit off. But, um, yeah, it just feels like a suit that's going to be there. I mean, of course, not all new suits that come out in, you know, Gundam Battle Operation 2 should be meta-defining. No, 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 no. You know, it, 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 most of the, uh, the suits they came out with recently have been really fun. This one's just, uh, it's not, it doesn't speak to me on a, on a level like the Ashimar or the, um, uh, the Nemo 3, uh, the 7th Gundam, um, there's another one, uh, the Gap Flea, yeah, of course, the Gap Flea, the, those suits, even if, they, even if those suits weren't that good, just the way they play is, you know, it's great to play those suits, this one just feels, eh. honestly, I feel like I would rather play the, uh, the regular Haiku Shiki over this thing. That's not, again, it's not to say this suit's bad. It's just like, if I want to have fun, I probably wouldn't pick this suit. But, you know, my fun's different from other people's fun. You know, if your fun is picking the um, Zero Shiki and just messing people up with the, the sheer amount of damage you can throw out, uh, you know, if you're really accurate, this suit would probably be really great for those people that love getting uh, straight shots on people. If you hit all six of your shots on a raid type, ooh, yeah, you do a lot of damage to that guy. 
And, you know, of course, it's melee. It's downswing's really cool downswing. does a little sli side slash and brings it back up. It's not like the, uh, the regular Haiku Shiki that does its downswing and kicks the opponent, which, man, you, <laughs> you kick the person. This suit's more like a, a serious Haiku Shiki, I guess, if there's such thing as a serious one. Uh, but, yeah, that's the... Um, I guess my thoughts on the Zero Shiki and uh, that's the end of the video. And hey, if you guys enjoy this video, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you want, I really appreciate it. And you know, type up in the uh, the comments section what you feel about the uh, the Zero Shiki. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, do you find it fun? Do you find it boring? Because to me, it's just, uh, it's going to be one of those suits. It's like, oh yeah, that's in the game. Uh, again, it's not bad. I mean, a lot of people are probably going to like this suit, because I know a lot of people are gushing over it. Which, uh, hey, I mean, it's it definitely... If I had to give this thing a super positive, this suit is really great with colors. Like, I can... There's so many colors on this suit that look great. Um, I poured it over the, the Haiku Shiki's colors over to this suit. And it didn't look... It didn't look nothing like the Haiku Shiki, but... Uh, the colors that came out of that looked really amazing. And then this color I think I got from the uh, the Zeta Gundam for this video. And I really like the look of that. This suit really uh, it really lends itself well to the parts colors. <laughs> the color parts. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.